Uh, I would like to uh, bring up our next speaker, and uh, she is, well, she's a wizard in the world of business, she is. She is the founder of Women Talk, and just an all-around French dynamo. If you've not met her before, please welcome Bridget Lassard <laughs> Just me, me and my Austin Power shoes. <laughs> they were loud, and I actually match my bag too. That's <laughs> like perfect outfit. I want to talk about gumption. Gumption. It's the ability to see a need for something and the audacity to think that you can do something about it without knowing how you're going to do it. And it is an amazing, amazing thing to have. Now, I played hockey, competitive hockey, for 25 years. And I can tell you that it made a difference on the ice. To have a team that has a gumption to think they can win can actually make you beat number one when you're not as good as them as far as talents. Gumption, it's something that most of us are born with. And if you don't believe me, take that bag of Oreo cookies and put it on top of the fridge. <laughs> right? And then watch little Mary, three-year-old Mary, <laughs> and she's going to stare, stare at those cookies. And now Mary is not a mountain climber. Mary is certainly not a builder or an architect, but watch that little kid build a tower <laughs> all the way up to the top of the fridge and get to these cookies. But a funny thing happens, because you see, we get told over and over, you can't do it, you shouldn't do it, don't do it, no, over and over and over. And then we just put the inner snooze button on, and we stop believing that we can do things even when we don't have answers. And I also believe that that is one of the main difference, generalizing, but it is one of the main difference between men and women. We as women don't have the gumption to believe that we can do things unless we're really good at them. And even when we're really good, it's hard for us to have the gumption to believe we can put $11,000 down and we're going to host a retreat, even though we've never done it before. Kudos to you. That's like, woo! But men are better at this. I don't know why. Maybe it's the way we raise our boys or the way we did anyway, because I think things are changing. But they're so good at gumption that they've actually renamed it for themselves. I've got balls. <laughs> Right? We've all seen it. And we I've even said it. So I do think that it's one of the biggest difference between men and women. But you know, we've had many women that have had the gumption to believe they can change the world. I just did a podcast with a lady, her name is Catherine Johnston. Now Catherine, at the age of thirteen, had the gumption to believe she could play little league. This was in 1950, where girls did not play baseball, period. She had so much gumption that she showed up, told her mother, cut my braids off, and I'm going to show up as Tubby Johnston, and I'm going to try out for the team. So she showed up at the board, tried for the team. She was actually a really, really good ball player, probably better than her brother. Made the team, was playing first base for the season, and halfway through the season came clean to her coach. I'm not a boy. I'm a girl. What? So the league could not believe the gumption that a girl would want to play baseball. What? So they actually made a rule. In 1915, the league decided, Little League Baseball, that no girl, no female, shall play Little League Baseball under any circumstance. And it was from 1950, it was until 1974 before a girl would be allowed to play again. But you know, when you have the gumption that 
you can do things, even though you don't know, you don't have all the answers. I may have to use my hockey voice here. When you have the gumption to believe that you can do things, it's amazing what can happen. That's why a lot of times, like this week, I think it was this week, it's been so busy, um, I just say it. I have the gumption to say I'm going to be writing a book. I have no freaking clue how I'm going to write the whole book, but I just know I'm going to do it. The answers come. When you have the gumption to take that first step and go towards it, the rest will follow. Sometimes it's a rough road, but it does follow. So I want to offer you, this is what we call our little business talk. It's a new feature at Women Talk where a business person will come up here and share a business inspiring story or just business info. And if any of you think that you would like to push yourself, whether you have a business, because I believe if, you're, if you are an entrepreneur, you should be a speaker. Very few people make a living at just being a speaker. There are the Tony Robbins of the world, but if you've written a book, if you're an entrepreneur, you need to be a speaker. And Women Talk is the place to do it for the first time. We are the entry level. Everybody here is here to hear your personal core story, it's called, what makes you do what you do. And this is the place to do it. There are yellow sheets on your table, you can apply to talk. It doesn't cost you anything. Just fill it out, go online, and we'll get your turn. If you want to get serious and talk a little bit more, then become a member. It's $19 a month. Easy. And it can make, like we all know, being a public speaker is the scariest thing there. Some people rather be burnt alive. We were just talking about it. So like, I'd rather die. You know most people would rather die than speak, right? I'm like, how could you rather die than speak? <laughs> I was born a speaker. <laughs> I always have loved it. So, but I know, and I get it, and that's why I created Women Talk, because it is a beautiful place where people are here to love you and support you. We all want our talkers to succeed. So I encourage you, if you're curious, fill it out. Go online and just fill out, I want to be a talker, and see what happens. Thank you for being here tonight.